Do you have names for them? Basic Becky, Butternut Squash Your Heart, A Corner to Cry In? That doesn't sound good. That's sad. That was the first thing I thought of. <laughs> The one thing you need to know about gourds is that they make awesome vases. I'm going to start with a butternut squash, which you will recognize from your local grocery store. Really easy to find. The first thing you need to do is simply cut the top off. It sounds scarier than it is. And inside, you'll see the butternut squash is actually really soft, like a typical fruit. That's right, gourds are actually fruits. You heard it here first, not vegetables. And now I'm going to take my small knife and sort of cut along the inside. Now I'm gonna take a spoon and scoop out the flesh. You get to a sweet spot, so to speak, where the scooping just becomes slightly easier. I haven't hit any seed yet. You might have an ice cream scoop in your drawer. I mean, I don't know who doesn't own an ice cream scooper, truthfully. You can really, really dig into the guts. You're gonna get flesh guts everywhere. It's okay. We try to embrace a little bit of mess at the spruce, actually. Yeah, I really wanna get in. Ooh, seeds! It's so exciting when you hit the seeds. <laughs> Please do save your seeds because you can roast them. Butternut squash seeds are a really healthy snack. Okay, I've scooped out all of the flesh from the butternut squash, which is really exciting. You'll see what I have here is a totally hollowed out gourd with approximately a quarter to a half an inch rim of flesh, which is just perfect. Now, some people stick a glass inside the butternut squash, but you can also pour water directly into the butternut squash, which is what we're going to do today. I have a pitcher here, and I'm going to pour some water in. You can always add more water in later, so I'm just gonna start with a little bit. Next, you wanna look at your beautiful autumnal flowers and choose a focal point for the arrangement. I'm really drawn to this one here. So I'm gonna sort of hold him up against the vase and decide how much to cut. I'm thinking about right here. I have a pair of shears, which make cutting flowers super simple and easy. So we have this beautiful sort of maroon colored flower and I'm going to pair some greenery on the outside. Again, I'm gonna sort of eyeball the length of the vase against the stem of the flower when I decide where to cut. Try to cut the stems at an angle because it helps with the absorption of the water. Read about that on the spruce. I think I need more green. I'm really gonna let the reddish maroonish flower stand out by pairing it with green all around. How about some yellow? What do you think of that? So we've just made this amazing gourd vase out of a butternut squash, but there are so many other types of gourds out there. You should feel free to experiment. You have your sugar pumpkin, acorn squash, ghost pumpkin, butternut squash. They all work super well. I'm absolutely going to do this at Thanksgiving. It's my very first time hosting my family, so I'm terrified, but these little gourd vases are gonna make it all better. I'm convinced. For more great tips on how to make your best gourds, visit thespruce.com.